Neck Fix and Chillin' with Dr. Dillon, Episode 2, the Shoulder Range of Motion Sequence. And we're focusing on two main areas of movement here, your scapula or shoulder blade and the humerus or your arm. Just try and follow along with the videos, but for your scapular range of motion, you can see that we're not trying to move the spine forwards or backwards. We're only moving the shoulder blades forwards and backwards. We're going through a series of elevation and depression and then moving it forwards, backwards, and then rolling your shoulders around in what we call scapular circles. And it feels great. Make sure you're going back both directions and finding your neutral after every single one of these. Now we're primarily moving the arm and this is uh, moving it overhead and touching your palms together. After you've done that a couple of times, you're gonna be flexing and extending your arms while rotating them in opposite directions. And it feels so good to do these exercises. Now while you're holding your arms to the sides, you rotate them back and forth internally and externally. And after that, you're gonna tap your T1 vertebra, which is that big bump at the base of your neck, one arm at a time. Now you're going underhand after that move to tap your T11 vertebra, which is the big bump on the spine that's right at the bottom of your rib cage. It's right where your mid back actually meets your low back. Now, the next move, you're gonna be doing a combo of both of these movements at the same time. This is an awesome combo to work your shoulders in pretty much every direction they're designed to move. After you've done that a few times, congratulations. You're all done with the shoulder sequence. Thanks for watching this video and keep smiling.